Hello, hello, hello. Gareth Naylor here. So this is my, oh yeah. And by the way, I'm a watercolor landscape artist. And um, I've done three paintings here of an archway. And this is part of my series, which is uh, of 50 watercolor sketches of places in Spain. So this one is um, a plaza. I think it's called Plaza Maya, which means main square, and it's in Madrid. So anyway, I've done three paintings of the same scene, and uh, I'll tell you which one I like, and you let me know which one you like. So this first one, what I love about this painting is the building in the distance. If you look at it, can you see that touch of purple and then orange in the middle and brown at the bottom? I think that's lovely. And I like this wall on the left hand side with that touch of blue. I think that's turquoise light. And I did that with splatter. I quite like the figures and um, these two figures in the front, I like the shadows on them, but they look a little bit wooden, a little bit wooden. Um, and uh, the small archway on the right, um, it looks a bit wonky. And maybe I overdid it with the uh, titanium white. But I'm still quite happy with this overall. But in the next one, I um, did a very sketchy version. And in this one, I was inspired by another artist who doesn't do dark shadows. She does these real light shadows. And I had a go at doing that. And so she does like glazers, thin washes. And so that's what I tried to do here. And instead of mixing the shadows in the palette, I would use pure colors on the paper and then blend them together. And, and so, for example, on the left, the shadow there is like, first of all, burnt sienna. Then I mix it with alizarin crimson and then I add some phthalo blue, but all on the paper. And then at the bottom, maybe some burnt umber. And I think it just really, really looks nice. So I didn't do any details here. Well, I did a few dry brush marks that I think look nice for the stonework but I did no details on the figures or anything like that. But I really think this works well and I want to experiment more with this technique. So now we're going to look at my final painting, which is a combination of both. So here I'm being a bit more accurate with the drawing and a bit more careful, but at the same time, I'm not doing super dark shadows, except perhaps for that archway on the right. So I really love the wall on the left hand side in this, in this picture and the texture. Although the figure in blue, I think is too noticeable. The figure next to it with the yellow hat is better. It blends in. And I love that blue shadow next to that figure that changes color. And I'm also very happy with the figures in this picture and the legs, which I did with dry brush technique. They just look a bit better. So, and uh, the building in the distance is quite nice. Maybe it could be a touch darker, but I still think it's quite nice. And I'm happy with the bit on the right hand side, but I used white gouache again, and I think it's, it doesn't look so good. So next time I might use masking fluid or, or something, but just to make it a bit more delicate. I think it needs to be a bit more delicate. Maybe I need to do a few more light washes, but that requires you waiting a long time for them to dry. But I think it will be worth it. So I'm going to try and do that in future paintings. So these were the three paintings I did. And my favorite is probably the second one, then the third one, and then the first one last of all. So how about you? Which one do you like? Let me know. That's all, and bye for now. Bye.